The survey report, which is a research work on the state of Nigeria prisons inmates and prison officers, was conducted by the Nigeria Prison Service and PRAWA. The survey presentation comprises of three volumes. Volume 1, a research on trial detection in Nigeria. Volume 2, social economic characteristics of prisoners and impacts of imprisonment. Volume 3, a perception survey of prison officers in Nigeria. In his address before the presentation of the documents, the Minister of Interior, who represented Vice President Yemi Osibenjo, said Nigeria prisons have been neglected for so long, which is why their dilapidating states call for action. Otago prison was built in 1918, so this year it makes it 100 years old. I think only kind of prison that is older. Kano prison is 110 years old or 11 years old. Yeah. 19, oh, 19, 18, 18, 10. Yeah, 1810. Yeah, about 1810. Um, so, but I also discovered that, and I was just telling the controller general that for a very, very long time, our prisons have been neglected. Because that prison, when it was built in 1918, it was meant to contain about 800 prisoners in it. But today, it is containing almost 5,000. In their address, both Controller General of Prison Service and Executive Director of Prawa talks about the sorry state of prisons, as reported in the survey. What has however been a challenge is essentially with the ask of baseline data on the nature and characteristics of prison overcrowding to enhance the development of sustainable solutions. Therefore, when the opportunity to launch a study on the nature and demography of awaiting trial prisoners came, it was indeed a major relief of the folks. The survey was therefore conducted with an overreaching objective to improve the knowledge the high number of persons who are in prisons are there still awaiting trial or still not having their cases concluded. Uh, but it's a very high population. You know? um, we you talk about a situation where, as at September, we had um, in, the, look, in the surveyed place, we had about 76% of the, those who were in prison at that time, particular time. So a very minor uh, number are those who have, been, have their cases convicted. But some of the very crucial things we found is that there is a very strong connection between poverty, between lack of adequate education, um, and between some of those vulnerable factors amongst those people we find in prison. So very few of them had very high education. Very few of them had uh, proper jobs before Time they were incarcerated and this has implication in terms of if you're talking about issues about rehabilitation if there is adequate investigation proper investigation it makes it easier you know if you have been able to gather your evidence it makes it easier so that the ingredient of any particular offense that you are charging you will be able to have anything to be able to support it but not when you charge a somebody for a particular offense but when you look at the facts of the matter you do not have adequate evidence to support the charge that you're given it is expected that this report will help address challenges it's outlined thereby enhancing betterment of nigeria prisons